What's up, thrift friends? Welcome back to another episode of Good Game Grabs. My name is Ray. I'm a full-time eBay reseller here at our local St. Louis Goodwill Bins in downtown. And we are gonna get in here and see what kind of clothes, media, and general merchandise we can flip for a profit. Let's roll that beautiful intro and get right into the bins footage. Could not forget my gloves. Could not forget a bag. All right, a absolutely bonkers morning so far. We've been here for all of maybe three minutes and it's been kind of insane. This cart really sucks, come on. Okay, cart, we're just doing this today. But a uh, ton of games, a ton of Blu-ray today. Some recorded VHS. Uh, let's just keep digging, holy crap basically at this point we are in like kind of the secondary phase of just what did people pass up sort of thing um just grabbing little stuff dresden dolls maybe maybe I'm glad we got a cart today though it's been a lot easier on these sealed guard for us okay maybe maybe yeah it's fun Mary Poppins, the Dark Crystal, okay, that's pretty cool. We're still picking up Sims stuff, guys. Uh, this feels complete. It is the university expansion, so it's not probably big money, but I still pick this stuff up, guys. If, you, if you're not uh, aware, Sims 2, Sims 3, some Sims 3 stuff does really well. This just caught my eye while I was doing that. This looks torch, though. Dang. The Sopranos complete, though. If it wasn't like that, I'd definitely be picking that up. It's really cool. That's the whole set. That's the whole set, I think. That's huh. pretty cool. That's definitely cool. Excellent. That looks good. Holy Oyster Cult, maybe. Another blue ring. My cart really sucks right now. Jesus. I was kind of debating with myself to go over to the GM if it was worth it. We have so much media, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do our due diligence and uh, get over there. We're gonna even do some clothing today. You would never need a plastic knife ever again, ever again. But more importantly, do these have the, the reels on them? No, they don't. They don't. If these were vintage reels on those, I'd be taking them. This Tonka is not that early. Yeah, it's not that early. If it was an earlier one, I'd be taking it. More plastic wear. Okay. I haven't been looking very hard in the jam, but so far we have this strainer, which is Shamrock, which is interesting. It's made in USA. I also found this plush, which is made in USA, Los Angeles. Cuddle Me Toys. That's the only reason I'm picking this up. I rarely see USA made plushes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that see what that's about there might be some other little garfield what year was this uh not seeing oh 2016 yeah no not old enough not old enough for me to be interested there's another shamrock piece interesting oh, it's kind of beat up though okay we're gonna leave that but yeah i'm just kind of doing a more light scan today i'm not doing a deep scan of the gm bins because uh, I want to try to get out of here at a decent time today. Okay, I see gloves. This Wilson glove looks okay. Well, it looks okay. Definitely might be worthy of a trade-in next spring. I think I saw one over here as well. Uh, that one's a little smaller, but we'll check it out. Definitely worth checking out at the end of Let's see. What is this? This is interesting. 
Windy. Date? Made in Germany. Okay. Because this is made in Germany, we'll look that up. We'll look that up. Uh, what kind of hardware are we talking about on here? These have venture, venture trucks. If I had the, the uh, yeah, if I had the tools, I would, uh, I would definitely take the trucks and wheels off of the skateboard and resell them. Because Venture is pretty decent, pretty decent name in skateboarding. However, I do not have the required things to do that. Hold on, somebody's, somebody's throwing back. John Cena? Da, 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 da. A little, uh, a little small though. A little small. Anything cool? No. What's this? Little gap, gap button up. Probably not. Let me know if I'm. Let me know if I'm. Uh, if I'm wrong by not picking that up. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. All right, nothing good on the throwbacks so far. Man, I thought these Abercrombie and Fitch pants were going to be a little bit better. They are definitely faded in certain spots or stained, whichever way you look at it, but. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be a good pickup. I did pick up a Penguin branded uh, button up. This this brand does okay. I've sold their shorts before. Uh, so hopefully their shirts do equally as well. But yeah, I am over here in the clothes, just not really loving life. <laughs> not really loving life right now. But uh, you know what? You're probably gonna hear me complain and moan for the next couple episodes about how I don't wanna pick up clothing, but it is absolutely crucial to our new clothing listing goal. And if I haven't mentioned what it was, maybe I mentioned it on the podcast and I did it on an episode, we're gonna to try to list 15 clothing items on top of our regular clothing items every Wednesday and Friday. So we're gonna list an extra 30 a week. Found some modern Levi 515 boot cuts. In pretty decent shape, they're okay. Uh, did find one blank t-shirt, a pair of jeans that I wanna look up in my lonely penguin shirt i think i'm gonna call it there though guys because i need to get out of here so i wish i had some really expensive stuff to talk to you guys about but this is literally the bread and butter that we've got so far today a bunch of vhs some recorded stuff the x-men is pretty cool number one there uh this hulk vhs also this hulk vhs which i thought was really cool because it's narrated by stan lee which is really neat so definitely going to go back and forth on whether or not i'm going to keep these or sell these but they're i thought those were really neat but yeah just a bunch of bread and butter so far in this stack some good some good solid blu-rays uh sims 3 game it's okay uh some sealed stuff in there this is a throwback pile so far somebody decided to cut this in half basically i don't know what the heck's going on with that unfortunately it looked really crispy i was going to keep it but that's a no-go but uh, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. This Wilson glove, the A350, actually had a really good sell-through rate. Um, the condition is a little debatable, of course. So do I take the time to clean it and throw it up on eBay for maybe 18 to 20-ish bucks? Or do I just say, screw it, throw it under my uh, shelving and just wait until uh, this next spring after, you know, right, basically right after winter, uh, and do the trade-in that we usually do. So here we've got the God of War Saga for PS3. All the God of War games are really, really solid. Uh, make sure, though, if you guys get this, you got both discs, which this one does, and they're both in pretty good condition. However, this outside is definitely water damage, which sucks. But I still think we can we can probably snag about 13 or 14 bucks out of this. I wish there was a counter for how many times I have found this Dead Island game on Xbox 360. I think this is my fourth or fifth copy, no doubt. Unfortunately, the Shamrock, it's actually Shamrock Meatway. This stuff just does not hold the same value that vintage Tupperware does. So this is going to be thrown back. There was one sold comp for six bucks, but not worth it. I think there was overall two, two different colors. This was one and yeah, that's just not worth our time. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this one back. Hopefully somebody else gets some enjoyment out of it. So the brand on this boat is called Seifert Boat. Uh, obviously a uh, German brand, but Seifert is a very German last name. Uh, but I am missing the, the sale, unfortunately. However, there was one that sold without a sale for $25 with 15 in shipping. I am not 100% sure if this is the exact model, but 
maybe ours you know goes for around let me see if i can see the name of this one oh yeah that does have a different name on it this one is windy so i'm not 100 percent sure but you know maybe 15 20 bucks without the sale because most of them were going for around 35 to 45 so i mean for what it is i think it's good i think it's light enough that we can justify the gamble i think we're going to go ahead and take it just especially also because it has a over 100 percent sell through rate so people are looking for this stuff is this the most bland haul of all time uh so just a bunch of bread and butter media i mean a ton a ton of blu-rays some of them were you know maybe eight to uh 12 dollars so we'll throw those on ebay a bunch of really good recorded vhs we had like doctor who pokemon stuff like that we need to lock those up soon and sell them all in lots on ebay so you know respectively you know we're getting maybe two to three bucks per vhs and we're only paying five cents which is good uh some stuff for the personal collection like uh this little ps1 demo disc i'm probably going to end up keeping this x-men vhs which i thought was cool the hulk vhs which i thought was cool uh we got two mats down here shout out to charles he gave me a magic the gathering uh mat that i think we're going to throw in the booth for a few bucks three pieces of clothing as you guys kind of saw one glove the boat and that's pretty much it guys everything else was like really super bread and butter games you know a bunch of shovelware like this but heck i mean it all adds up right so i mean we got you know maybe you know probably around 20 yeah probably around 30 35 pieces of media average it out to you know two three bucks per we're not doing too bad throw in the uh the boat the glove and the uh the clothing not too bad of a haul today i bet it's gonna be really cheap too because again we're paying five cents an inch for all this vhs i tell you what guys this bag does not feel like a 23 dollar bag from goodwill and uh that's just because again the vhs change has been so awesome it's allowed us to really buy more vhs and take more gambles on vhs which uh works out you know for us and them they move more vhs and we get to get more rad stuff out there but anyway guys we had 55 cents in vhs we had 23 44 in bulk goods and look at just look at how much stuff we have so i think we're doing pretty okay i mean we sell a couple of those sealed uh dvd or blu-rays and we're pretty much there to pay for this entire haul. Don't forget guys, if you'd like to see content just like this, be sure to hit that sub button down below, hit the like button if you like the video. It costs you nothing to do and really helps out the channel. We'd really appreciate it. But until then guys, we will see you later on the next grab. Bye for now.